Hello, my name is Josh and I'm going to be playing this instrument here called a Kora. It's a 21 stringed uh, West African harp. It's made from a giant gourd, which is uh, like a giant pumpkin. And the front here we have skin stretched over the front. Then we have nylon strings, um, which are made from uh, fishing line, lengths of fishing line, different thicknesses. And um, it comes from uh, lots of different countries in, in, in West Africa. My earlier memory was uh, uh, back home actually at school. We had a, a school band which we, uh, we went to perform on a, like uh, the year, uh, the end of the year school performance. And that was my first performance in front of the public. My earliest memory is of performing um, and I was probably around nine years old and I was playing with my brother who was three years younger than me at the time, also playing Cora. It was very unusual to see this, uh, this Welsh kid playing this West African instrument at such a young age. Hello, my name is Alan uh, from Burkina Faso, West Africa, particularly. And the instrument I have here is called Ngoni. It's the same family as the Kora, but it's smaller. The left string is 12 string, this one. I come from the family of uh, Gonimba, which is a small uh, other Goni with less strings than this one. So it started with less strings and it evolved to 12, 18, 21.
Salif Keita, uh, Tumani Diabate, uh, a lot of uh, 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 traditional uh, players from uh, West Africa have inspired me a lot. And also traveling around the world, I have come across a lot of different other uh, music. But blues, blues have uh, and jazz have inspired me a lot. Name like Ali Falka Toure, uh, and, and, and also uh, uh, Frel Kulbali uh, from Burkina Faso and, 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 and many other artists. Jabati is a very well-known choral player from, from Mali and when I was really young I used to listen to his music all the time and I really wanted to be able to play like him. Um, and then when I was 13 I went to meet him and uh, played for him and then he invited me to Mali to go and study with him and then I studied with him in Mali when I was 15 for the first time and he's still my teacher to this day and uh, yeah I've learned a lot from him. Uh, it's not just music, but also about life, so he's a big inspiration. Here I have uh, the drum, djembe drum, which is uh, also from West Africa. And also you have the skin on, on the top and you have a wood here.
Yeah, living in Mali, going to Mali when I was so young was a kind of amazing experience. I grew up in Wales in, in kind of an off-grid location, hadn't really left the country before, so it was a, quite a shock to me, the cultural difference. Uh, I didn't speak the language, uh, but I, I could play the instrument and that was enough really, so I made loads of really good friends very quickly. Um, but yeah, the, the style of life was so different to what I was used to, uh, but I, I kind of felt like I fitted in quite quickly just because of the music, and the music kind of crossed the boundaries. I would say my favorite style of music is classical because I've always been into classical music, like jazz, blues, uh, is my, my kind of favorite music. all kinds of music from different cultures from pop music to rock music to you know drum and bass uh, so as long as it's good music as long as it's in the right place and it's played well then I really like it Uh, I grew up uh, and with church music and traditional music because uh, uh, in my culture, baptism and weddings and is always with live music and traditional music. So I grew up with that around me.
it wasn't it wasn't easy coming to Britain and trying to uh, share my culture uh, with everyone. But uh, I have been blessed to uh, meet the, the nice people and 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 also work with different uh, organizations like Live Music Now, who have given me the opportunity to go around different places and to do different projects also uh, uh, all around uh, UK and, 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 and I'm grateful for that. Thank you. In every place you go, there's always going to be the barriers. I don't look on the barriers, I look on how I can break this, those barriers down. And, and so far it have been, uh, it have been okay for me uh, to be here and to share my, my, uh, my culture with uh, many different other artists as well that I have met through uh, live music now and through being a musician in the UK. There have been uh, a lot of like a cut of funding that wasn't there was no less funding for mu this type of music, uh, so it means that there was no enough work for us. Uh, and also uh, in 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 many places where people doesn't really know about the the, the kind of music, they make it uh, not as popular. Uh, to, to the wide audience. The music I grew up with was also chora music, so the music from this instrument because my father played. Um, he started playing before I was born, so um, there's even photos of me sitting on his lap when I was three years old, uh, touching the strings of this instrument. So um, yeah, chora music has been a big, a big part of my, big part of my life.
I was introduced to live music now through a friend and what made me join live music now I saw the work they was doing it was uh, amazing taking music everywhere to places where uh, there was no music and uh, it just made me want to join them because I wanted also to use my gift uh, to to make to make uh, to share my gift with ev everyone. So live music now have been uh, opened the door for me, and I have been grateful since. Thank you. So I wanted to join Live Music Now because I saw the great work that they're doing um, and I saw it as an opportunity to learn new skills um, because I was kind of just really starting out uh, on my musical career and I knew it was a way to kind of reach out and put myself in situations that I probably wouldn't be able to put myself in um, and it's been just incredible learning curve for me and being able to meet all these people uh, from different backgrounds who had never seen this type of music before and introduce it to them and, and make them smile and laugh and change their day. It's been, it's been really great. Yeah. Um, and I would just like to say a big thank you to the NHS staff who are doing an incredible job, working really, really hard under really difficult circumstances. Um, yeah, especially like to thank the people in Bristol working at South Meads Hospital. Um, yeah, keep going, amazing work. Thank you so much. Yeah, we say, say uh, sending a massive thank you for the NSS for doing a wonderful job in this time of COVID, and uh, yeah, we we support support the NSS and uh, we we sending them a big shout out. I would like to thank the, uh, the supporters of the South Meads Hospital Charity um, for helping uh, be able to get the music and, and all the work that they're doing uh, happening in the hospital. It's really making a big difference to, to a great place. <laughs>